I get asked all the time, what's the suitable length of interview that a client should be quoting for? Um, it differs, but let's talk about healthcare professionals. I always advise clients that put yourself in their shoes, right? So they've got a, a very difficult um, caseload of patients. They have to not only mix their working schedule, but also mix breaks, uh, appointments and everything else. And we all know how busy a healthcare professional can be, right? So the reason why I always advise for an hour or no more than an hour for length of interview, whether it will be for um, uh, online or face-to-face -face or TDI, is because they have to fit in that research within their lunch break or within a short burst of time so that they can get back to doing what's important, which is treating patients, right? So my advice to you, as a client or as a consultant, when you're asking me uh, what's the suitable length of interview to actually have your research based on, I would say anything that is less than an hour. Now that's for healthcare professionals. The same would apply for, um, for patients, right? So if you think about it, um, if you're talking to patients that have a more severe condition, it's borderlining uncomfortable or maybe even unethical to ask them to do research that's longer than 60 minutes because maybe they may not be feeling too well or maybe perhaps they, they need to take the medication. So you want to really fit in a piece of research no longer than an hour. Anything above that, it could get a bit uncomfortable for them. So if it's online, great, at least you can pause it. Maybe you want to do diaries or um, homework sessions or maybe perhaps something they can start and stop to their convenience. But when it comes to TDIs and face-to-face in-homes, for patients, I would say try to keep it within an hour just in case you're interviewing or doing research with sensitive type of patients that need to rest, to take the medication, or maybe not to be fatigued by the research that we're doing. Because we have to remember that the research you're doing is complementing the illness that they have. It shouldn't be subtracting. So anytime you feel like you're doing research that's a bit too long, um, it may really reduce the incidence rate in field.